this is the unveiling of the XFX 8800 Ultra. Only difference being here is we have two other 8800 Ultras. We're going to have three in total. We have the usual standard stuff inside, a couple of driver disc, Company of Heroes Direct X10. There we have it. 8800 Ultra, number three. Foam that comes with the box package nicely. It's three eighty eight hundred ultras, the overclock versions. Going into the seven eighty I Asus motherboard. was a P5NT Deluxe. Not as fancy as the Striker, but hopefully more reliable. Three-way solar connector. It's on very tight. Look at that. So we're going to have to have six six pin PCI Express power ports, power slots. And there's the three way solo connector there. Looking pretty tough. I might water cool these. We'll just see how we go on temperature. Now back down to business. Let's have a look at this monster. <clears throat> I remember that Galaxy was a monster, but now this is a monster. I remember a while back I was saying, who needs a thousand watts? You gotta be crazy. But now with three three graphics card, it's going to need everything. Let's check a look at that. Not packed as nicely as the Galaxy though. They've got a case for extra connectors that you don't want to connect. No idea what's in here. Replacing my old one, which was the NMX 1000 watt. Galaxy PSU. The difference being between that and the new Silverstone 1200 watt PSU. Let's have a look at the size first. As you can see, the the new 1200 watts about an inch longer than the already massive size of the Galaxy. And let's look at the rear here. One thing I didn't like about the Galaxy: not 100% modular. This was a bit annoying, it didn't look that good. This one now being 100% modular, so I'm going to try to run them really neat. And uh, plenty of room there for a power supply. But it's going to be hard hiding all the wires again. I'm going to try to run really neat. Two 8800 Ultras at the moment. I'm getting the third one soon. That's the reason for the 1200 watt. Yeah, of course, no computer would be complete without six PCI Express connectors. This, this is to run the graphics. Obviously they don't need a much, they don't need much power. I'm surprised they don't use three foes. Here we have it all powered up. The back of the computer. Six monitor support. Isn't that awesome? Power 
powering up the system for the first time. I've just slapped it all up just to get some benchmarks happening and be the first on YouTube to well attempt to play Crisis at its full settings. have one, two, three, four, five hundred and twenty mil fans and two more on the side door. So we have seven 120 mil fans and two 80 mils.